Let the peace, love, and blessing of the Almighty God be upon His people of the entire world, in now and forevermore. Amen. Whosoever wants to be great must first be a servant. Everlasting Gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the Supernatural Teacher. First lesson, Romans chapter 9, verse 11. Second lesson, Romans chapter 8, verse 30. Golden text, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. Quote, Brethren, that is the revelation of our lesson this morning. Many people say that the way of God is straightforward. He is not like a human being. He makes no mistakes, and in him is found no goil. He does not take the advice of any human being, nor does he take directives from any human beings. He does everything according to his wish. You will realize that whatever happens here, does not depend on what you can do. It does not depend on your righteousness, but rather, right from the beginning, when the children were not yet born, when they had not done anything good or evil, it had been nominated that the elder shall serve the younger. This goes to show when you sometimes lament and say that it is because of the sins which you have committed why you find yourself where you are, I tell you that this is irrelevant. It does not depend upon how much you conduct yourself or how much you protect yourself against the enemy. God does not do anything to please any human being. He does not do anything for any specific reason. He has no reason and no condition to comply with. He does his things simply because he is the Almighty God. It does not show that he likes you more than the other person or that he loves the other person more than you but he does everything for the fulfillment of his own will many people say that god loves them while others say that god does not love them people complain that god has done something for the other person it does not mean that he does not do anything for them. And God says, Those people who were not my people, I will call my beloved children. Who knows where these people would come from? The words of God only fulfills in man. He further said, at the fullness of time, those who were not called my beloved children would be called dearly beloved wife. Who are not the beloved children of God? The trouble is that we do not fully grasp and believe the words of God because they cannot touch down on the ground and return empty-handed when they come down they would break the mighty rocks and when they rise they would fulfill his will the words of god can never be manifested in trees rocks or other inanimate things they must be manifested in human beings if there are any words of god that are to be fulfilled in the trees they would certainly be fulfilled in the trees 
but the majority of the words of, of the words spoken by God are fulfilled in human beings. Sometimes ago it was prophesied by the old prophets that a young virgin would conceive in her womb and would bring forth a child who would be called Emmanuel. No specific name was given, no particular village was mentioned, it was just spoken in a blank check form of description that a virgin would be conceived in her womb and would bring forth a child whose name would be called Emmanuel. No person bothered to know what was prophesied about Christ or what would happen. But at the birth of somebody and at the fulfillment of all the predictions and prophecies, it was clear that he was the one who was prophesied about. This is the reason why we must search the scriptures. Once you are able to search the scriptures, all the things written by God will be understood by you. That was why when Andrew saw our Lord Jesus Christ, he went and told his brother Simon saying, Come, we have found the Messiah who was written about. If people were to read the Bible, they would have understood what is right. You're merely looking at somebody's facial appearance will not just indicate to you what that person is. Immediately, you are able to search the scriptures. Then, whatever you are able to deduce from the scriptures, you will be able to identify him. The first shall be last, and the last shall be first. On the prediction that the elder will serve the younger, very many people regard Jacob as a very cunning and crafty person, as if it were not the prediction or prophecy of God. If you regard him as a cunning fellow, you should go and play that kind of prank with people and see whether you will succeed. It was not only in the case of Esau and Jacob, you also heard the passage read in the scriptures that the first shall be last and the last first. Our Lord Jesus Christ also indicated that all those who came after him are thieves and robbers. These words have been made manifest. Why do people believe that the Son of God had made his visitation on earth? was that all the predictions that were made and written had been fulfilled at the fullness of time when our Lord Jesus Christ came to the earth in the likeness of man. But he was God on earth. He came down and people saw the manifestation of his deity. Whatever you execute in this life which does not comply with what has been nominated on the pages of the scripture are null and void and without effect. That is why the scientists and all the learned men of the world have endeavored to get the Bible burnt so that they can write their own scriptures which will comply with their own teachings. You will see newly written version of the Bible from America. Some of them are called the Revised Standard Version. Others are called the DOI Version. Various names are given distorting the salient facts in the Bible, but have you seen nominated on the pages of the Bible the name America, 
Britain or London, Lagos, Madrid or Paris. You can never see Nigeria, Ghana or indeed any other city in the Bible until doomsday. But something has been written about a particular place which shows itself when you look carefully on the situation of things. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave this parable. He said that a certain man had a farm. He kept in the farm some, some husband's men. And from time to time he had to send some men to inspect the farm. Each time they went, they were tortured, beaten up, and some killed. He again sent others, set of people to inspect the farm and they were treated in the same way. At the end, he sent his only begotten son, thinking that when they, when he, he would appear before them, the husband men, they would fear him and regard him as the son of God. But as soon as the only begotten son arrived on the farm, they said, look, at the person who is here to the inheritance. Let us kill him. And so they communed together and killed the Son of God. That was the reason why he asked, when the owner of the farm comes, what shall he do to those wicked husbandmen? They answered, that when the owner of the farm would come, he would bring his soldiers to exterminate all the wicked husband men and the whole farm would be handed over to a righteous nation. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Yes, you have rightly answered. Have you not heard that the stone which the builders rejected have become the chief cornerstone? Righteousness alone exalts a nation. He concluded by telling them that this kingdom of God shall be taken away from them and be given to a nation which will bear good fruits. He did not mention Calabar. He did not mention England. He did not mention Nigeria. He did not mention any particular place. Rather, he said, This kingdom shall be taken away from you and be given to a nation which will bear good fruits. It is an act of foolishness for any person to say that he is going to Jerusalem, Bethlehem, or any other place. What purpose will it serve you to go to such places? Have you not been listening to the words of God? Some people claim to have gone to the place where our Lord Jesus Christ was buried and went into the sepulchre. In all these, you are wasting your precious time and energy. Have you not heard what the scriptures have told you that this kingdom will be taken away from them and given to a nation which will bear good fruits? You may be the one. It may be any other person, any continent, or any community. Jerusalem is no longer a holy city. Anytime you want to go to Jerusalem, you say you are making a pilgrimage to the holy city. Why do you describe it as the holy city? Abel was killed there. Our Lord Jesus Christ and many others were killed there. You would rather call it an evil city, a city where people commit all kinds of atrocities and the Father would never go there. Sometimes I hear people say that they went to Jerusalem. What have they gone to do at a place where God has rejected? 
Sometimes you say that you have gone to Egypt, Jerusalem, or Bethlehem, and I ask you, what did you go to do in those rejected cities? He had said that this kingdom will be taken away from them and be given to a nation. The emphasis is on nation. And I ask you, is that nation Calabar? They have not mentioned Nigeria. They have not mentioned Ghana, Britain, or America, but any nation that bear good fruit. The way to God is like the pilgrim progress. If you find any city where the inhabitants do the will of God, that would have been the city that is referred to by this passage. You have also heard that many shall come from the east and west and will sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of God. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out of the kingdom. It is the height of foolishness for you to say that this kingdom emerges from the black man's country or from my territory or it does not come from the white man's country or, or from the black man's country or from any other place. The ways of God can be compared to the pilgrim progress. Have you not heard what the people said? They asked, Who is Jesus? We have known his father, his mother, brothers and sisters, and where he comes from. But when the Messiah will come, no one will know his father and mother, and no one will know where he will come from. Is that not a stupid type of statement? Another person asked, Have the children of Israel stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. But rather, through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles. Ponder over that statement, that the elder shall serve the younger. It is just as if you have water inside the canal, and when the boat rows, the water goes backward and forward. Now that he has first elected the second born, what do you think will happen to the first born? Will he bestow his blessing on him? Prophecies will pass away, languages will vanish, but love will abide forever. That first love which he had for the firstborn, do you think that first love had eluded him? He will continue to show the express, that expression of love for the firstborn. Africa is the cradle of civilization. The two children you heard about were Esau and Jacob. Abraham begot Isaac and Isaac begot Esau and Jacob. And these two were twins. It was prophesied before they were born that the elder shall serve the younger. In order to fulfill the scriptures, you have been hearing stories about Esau, how he was toiling and laboring all throughout his life. Esau symbolizes Africa and the black race and Jacob symbolizes the white race. I want to make it quite clear to you that Africa is ever known as the cradle of civilization. Whatever inventions and discoveries you can think of today all came from Africa. God himself was born in Africa. All what the Europeans are struggling for now are in vain. Since it has already been written, signed, sealed, stamped, and delivered, the whole thing tends to tilt towards Africa. 
The irony of it all is that the Africans do not even believe in this. They believe that the whites have gone very far and that there is no possibility of catching up with them. What they do not know is that Africa is the land of salvation. God was born in Africa and all good things must come from there. Therefore, the whites must come down and worship God in Africa. Can you therefore see the type of manipulation that the Europeans have adopted to outwit you? Can you definitely say that our Lord Jesus Christ was born in Britain, America, or that he was a white man? Was he really an English speaking person? Did he know how to speak the English language? He had never been to Britain, he had never been to America, but he had gone on a ministry work to India. This is just to indicate to you that God does not behave the way human beings behave. No matter what Jacob did to, to usurp the first position of the brother, he struggled and did everything, but since God had written, he had signed, sealed, and delivered it, no person can expunge the episode from the annals of Bible history. What God had documented must remain forever. It actually means that the older will first of all toil and moil before he takes up his rightful position. Whoever wants to be great must first be a servant. Have you not heard the statement of our Lord Jesus Christ that whosoever wants to be great must first be a servant? First of all, he has to make himself a servant and a messenger. If you want to gain an important position, you have to serve diligently in order to establish your position as a big man. Whoever wants to be a leader, the primus inter pairs, first among equals, must first of all enslave himself to others. The way of God is very narrow and difficult to pass through. It is filled with all sorts of thorns and incriminating weapons. If you find somebody trying to meander through, such a person would always complain that heaven and earth are against him. If you see somebody sitting akimbo, enjoying himself, you feel that he is in heaven. It is not so. The situation cannot be a bed of roses. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, As the Son of Man did not come to be ministered unto, but to minister and give his life a ransom for many. Have you seen the manifestation of this statement in the world today? Have you observed the manipulation, the manip the mani the mani the manipulation of words? When in another passage he says, and again when he bringeth in the first begotten into the world, he did not say when he will bring in his second. He says when he will send down his first begotten into the world he will say let all the angels of god worship him this shows you how flexible the words of god are the words of god are not contradictory but complementary when in another statement he said and the people who were not my people will be called the beloved children of God. To what place did he refer? Is it not Africa? What I am telling you is fully understood by the whites. When they will come in, if you are not careful yourself, they will so enjoy the activities in brotherhood that you will be surprised. 
what remains is that since God has promised to give this kingdom to all of you, there will be no way of his taking it away from you. Have you not heard what he said that whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. All things will pass away, but love will end. But love will endure forever. Have you no ears to listen to this type of language? It is a very important statement. You will realize that the world wars were meant to usher in something into the world. The First World War of 1914 to 1918 and the Second World War of 1949 to 19, of 1939 to 1945. All that we have learned is the ushering of the visitation of God into the world. Every spectacular situation that has been created is in preparation for the arrival of God and for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. Considering the period of time that the children of Israel were enslaved in Egypt for 430 years, what sort of weapons of war could they have acquired for themselves in order to fight and liberate themselves and move from Egypt? In all these years that the Africans were under the slavery of the whites, the colonial rule, what implements of war could they have acquired for themselves in order to fight against the whites to liberate themselves? If it were a matter of war, Africa would not have had anything to use in fighting against the whites. Because if you talk about, because if you, because it, it, if it were a matter of war, Africa would not have anything to use in fighting against the whites. Because if you talk of money, it is produced by the whites. If you talk of the manufacture of weapons, they stand foremost and we always go to buy from them, you will not be able to manufacture your own in order to fight against them. Have you seen the way God has used to liberate you? That is the same way that God has used in liberating the children of Israel out of the land of bondage. Do you realize that all what obtains in the world are the fingers of God in action. There is nothing like Satan, apparition, and mermaid. There is nothing like disappointment. Whatever you see from day to day is the fulfillment of the will of God. The first lesson will now be read.